Yes, yes, my people, it's your boy Django, and we're back. I know it's been a minute, but you know what time of year it is. We've got families and to feed, got to put the work in. But it's only right I give you my opinion after some of the comments and some of the headlines in the media over the weekend. Certain crybaby on Twitter crying instead of worrying about their old performances. So, it's only right I give my opinion, let you guys know what I think. And as per usual, you let me know what you think in the comment. And if you like, like and subscribe to the channel, my people. Let's get into it. First thing we want to talk about, we're going to talk about the result. Weekend, good result for United. Good performance by the team. Van Dijk talking absolute nonsense, but only one team turn up. I've never seen a team go to a football game not wanting to win. A team that don't want to lose is a team that wants to win, in my opinion. And if Man had concentrated on his home personal and individual performance, that Edda, that he should have scored, that my guy Vidic would have buried, Varane would have buried, Johnny Evans would have buried. I'm just saying, if Man had focused on his own individual performance and not worrying about how Manchester United set up at Anfield, Man not acting like Anfield is an easy place to go. It's not. We all know that. So when we go there at the time and the place that my team's in, we put in a performance and get a point and move on. Cry if you want me. Cry if you want. Now, there is aspect of that performance I'm disappointed in. I'm still not convinced with Ireland. Anthony, I'm still not convinced. Ganacho shouldn't be really be starting for Manchester United. But at the moment, out of the wingers that's available and playing, he is the best one. <clears throat> and it's mad because he's only 18, 19. But with same can also go to say for Kobe Mainu. Now, how can we have youths outperforming the experienced players? And it's mad that at the start of the season, when I, like I'm saying here, with Jose Mourinho's comments, right, and what I've been saying for as long as my channel's been on YouTube, yeah, and almost, you know what, it's mad, almost everything I called out since Louis van Gaal till today has been right, almost everything, but I'm going to get into that in a little bit later, but for now, I just want to talk about certain players and how the manager is moving right now because I got told whether it's true or not the reason why players are falling out with Ten Hag is for the way he's treating Sancho now I don't know whether to believe that or not but I know Sancho has got one and two friends in United's team that for players type friends they're close similar like I'm saying Rashford Lingard type of closeness maybe not but if players there that like Sancho that don't agree with the way Eric Tanag's treating him. Now, I've set reservation aside since I've seen him falling out with Varane, Casimiro, Sancho. Like, he's falling out with our technical better players and he's just getting loads of players who can't control a game to run about for him. What's different from what he's doing than Ten Hag, I'll be real honest with you. As much as I say back the players, back the manager, the only reason I'm saying back the manager is because these players have been here long enough and have had enough chances to prove themselves and they haven't under multiple managers. And it's not like they've had terrible managers. They've had some of the best managers that's available to us at the time. So that is the only reason why I'm saying back Ten Hag because the football is terrible we were supposed to be this transitional team I can't see it but you can't knock a good performance that the lads put in at Anfield now let's talk about Murta before I get on to Mourinho Murta but you let me know what you think about my comment if I'm wrong about the players or am I wrong about the manager because I've seen 
this result play out before but played out in a different way but before i get to that let's talk about murder and if you like the video don't forget to leave a subscribe help the channel out my people john murder has got to be the worst negotiator on this planet of the earth he has to be and when i told people yeah that Ten Hag didn't have a problem with Radnia, yeah, but because I've got a little baby channel and all these guys' channel are popping, yeah, people tend to follow them because they think they have these links and all of that, right? But when I tell people that John Murta only got the job, yeah, not because Ten Hag didn't want Radnik, no, it's because the Glazers wanted their own people in possession, right? They didn't want somebody like Radnik because they already went through Mourinho. Now we have Murta, who literally went to a country with a league that's dying to get players from Europe. And basically, these guys can print almost 500 trillions, right? So basically, they've got a endless amount of money to spend. And he couldn't cut a single deal. This guy couldn't get one deal done for any of United players. Now, I don't know if that's a detriment to the school state of united players but come on i see them taking mitrovic and players like that you can't tell me you can't sell let's for example yes some some fan ch channel gone with they're trying to sell you know the easiest target basically and the funny thing is they used to call it l lazy journalism or whatever yeah but he's gone out there to sell marshall and sancho Varan and Casimiro. Varan and Casimiro is understandable because of the age. But reason why they're selling them, I can't understand it. It's purely not for footballing reason because we definitely need Casimiro. And with that being said, I can now get into the point I've been dying to make because like I've said, ever since I've had my channel, almost everything I've called out up until this point has been true. I said, leave Van Gaal in charge for a few more years and he would sort out the team, put us in a place where the next manager can, you know, maybe go on to win a trophy or two and then we can build on and move forward. And maybe if we had left Van Gaal on, by the time we got Mourinho, Mourinho would have had enough for when he added the players that he wanted, we would have been title challengers. But no, these fans who, realistically, most of these fans who are coming in, like around the end of Fergie era and things like that, they're mostly the problems because they're the one who's always on social media and all of that. And they haven't really seen a United team that's built with a strong spine fully because even in the back end of Fergie's time, the team was not... The team aren't as strong as, like I'm saying, when we had Scolzi and Keane. We've never really had that strong spine like that. Yes, we've had Michael Carrick, who's covered for a, a few years, but a strong spine, what I'm talking, we had Rio Vidic, Car um, Scholes, Keane, Van Nistelrooy, Rooney, Ronaldo, Giggs. That's a different type of beast to what I'm talking about. Now, we, I'm not talking about these wannabe players let's say right these guys will have a good season and then get dubbed world class i'm not talking about these type of players i'm telling you not only did van gaal go before his time and didn't get back the reason van gaal didn't get back so we sold players that he shouldn't have sold that would have done great for our marina would want to play danny Welbeck, chikorito and I'd even go to say Johnny Evans. Because I said, I said four years ago, five years ago, when people wanted to pay 85 mil for Aaron Maguire, I said I'd rather bring Johnny Evans in, left-footed centre-back. But man turned their nose up at that and laughed. And still today, now, Johnny Evans is a better centre-back at 35 than Aaron Maguire in his prime. But we keep it moving. We got to Mourinho. Mourinho started off beautiful, winning trophies. 
It got to a point where Mourinho called Pogba a virus for a reason. All the United fans, Ferdinand, Man United player, all of them, Gary Neville, oh, you can't sell Pogba, can you? It's an investment, right? Now, even though I felt Pogba was mistreated, and you all know my opinion on Pogba, right? I stood by and I said, the moment you let Mourinho go and keep Pogba is the moment United finish. That's on my grandmother's grave. That's what I said. I said, the moment we let Mourinho go and keep Pogba, United's finish. And not all these United finish, you're walking all over Fergie's legacy. They was my exact word. And look at us now. Because, let's be honest, if, uh, if Mourinho had got the power that he should have got, two things would have happened. Pogba would have had to sort his act out with Mourinho. Yeah, which would have then gave us a better Pogba and a more consistent Pogba under Mourinho. Luke Shaw would have come back with the same mentality that he has because I, like I said many years now, what Luke Shaw is today is due to how Mourinho treated him. Nothing else. That's called tough love. He, could, he would have done it with many of other players back in his time who was tough enough not to drop their bottom lip or listen to agent. Right? But we carry on and we move forward. Mourinho, best defence in the league with Phil Jones and Chris Smalling. That alone is an accomplishment. He wanted his defender. He wanted Van Dijk. He didn't get Van Dijk. He got Lindelof. Still second best defence in the league. Lindelof, Phil Jones. I don't think Eric Bailly came in at the time. So I think it's Lindelof, Smalling, Phil Jones. Right? Still the second best defence in the league. Remember, he wanted Van Dijk for Lindelof. Next season, he wanted a centre-back that I think it's, I think it was between Kudabali at this time. And I can't remember who Kudabali it was. And they wanted him to get Maguire. Board didn't back him. Didn't give him his play. He wanted Perisic for the left as well. He didn't get that. Okay, this is what I'm saying about the board. Don't back the manager. But not only does the board don't back the manager. Us, the fans, don't back the right manager. Any manager that's trending in social media, yeah, United fans will jump on the bandwagon and say, oh, he's the man. Most of them don't even go and look at their history or study of seeing their manager team. They just heard the hype or hear how good they're doing in their league and they want him as manager. You all know I wanted Pochettino. You all know I switched to Tenag because Gary Neville and that. But my problem was with Gary Neville is for all the calls from the, like I'm saying, the Mourinho the Maguire, so I couldn't agree with anything Gary never said about United, that United. All the banter aside, he's a good pundit, I don't care what no one says, but when it comes to United, he just chats Marco. Like I'm saying, he's one of the worst managers in history, so let's keep it moving. They didn't give Mourinho his centre-back, what did they do? Go and give Ole Gunnar Solskjaer from Norwegian League, <laughs> 85, 90 million pounds to go spend on Aaron Maguire, who a year or two, a year late, in my opinion, he wasn't good enough anyway. So the money should have never been spent on Aaron Maguire. But I said within three years time, the vid, I've got, they're on my channel. I said within three years time, you realize how much you've wasted this money and Kuda Bali should have been the signing at that time. At that time, Kuda Bali was, and Van Dyke, because Van Dyke was like, that was the peak Van Dyke. It was, Probably Van Dijk, maybe because of the way he was. Kudibali, Sergio Ramos, around them times, that was the three best centre-back in world football, in my, time. At, in my opinion, at that time. And you know Mourinho and his strong African, he wanted Kudibali. No, give Solskjaer 85 mil. Rio Ferdinand again, Gary Neville again. Because Harry Maguire has got a British passport, oh, we got to get Harry. Terrible. And it's just bad decisions after bad decisions after bad decisions. And now we're here at Ten Hag. Everything came back around. We went to Anfield with Mourinho. Mourinho knows how it is to win games at Anfield or to get points at Anfield or how to win this Premier League. If that's one thing he knows is that Mourinho went to Anfield and set up exactly the same way as Eric Ten Hag. And all of you, man, crucified him. That's why he was out of the job. After the Anfield game, 
even though we didn't get beat, yeah, the two things Van Gaal and Mourinho had in common is they were they tried to make sure they was hard to beat, and then after that, they was working on the forward play. They're the only two managers that came in and made sure we was hard to beat, right? Ten Hag didn't come in and try making us hard to beat. Ten Hag came in trying to play like beautiful football with a team that's not capable of playing beautiful football. The, the fact is that we had Varane, Martinez, Casemiro in the team. People that know how. Rashford had a freaky season. That's how we got through his first season. Because at this moment in time, I can't see our... I don't see our identity. I don't see transition football. I don't even see possession of football. Ireland is not good on his own up front. He cannot hold the ball up. He cannot link play. And I don't care whoever on social media want to go and lick him off or whatever. Yeah, he, At this moment in time, he cannot play up front for Manchester United. It's a fact. Anthony is not a winger that should be starting for Manchester United. The natural should not be starting for Manchester United. And that's all I want to say, people. You let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe.